Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Ostrave. So, if you can remember from the last episode, episode 17, um, we have been suffering a little bit financially. Um, obviously, we then managed to get a bit of trade going with some of the other parents. We had some messengers visiting and things started to recover slightly. I feel like I those workers. Um, but only very slightly and we're now to a positive 90. So, as a consequence of this, I think we're going to take a bit of a gamble. Um, so everything else in the village is fine in terms of food, etc. We've got plenty of wheat, uh, 47 potatoes, and there's some stored, some stored in here as well. Um, but the main thing we've got is a lot of shoes, 17 shoes. And if I can remember correctly, I believe shoes are worth um, 35 gold per shoe. So there's actually a, a, an awful lot of money in shoes. However, we never get any messengers from Tehachi. But the cost of sending a messenger to Tehachi to sell them something is 80. So it is a bit of a risk. But considering this is probably the only real time um, opportunity we're going to have where we're now positive in, in, in positive money. We've got 93 uh, gold. And if we wait, that's going to decline. So I think really now is the only opportunity to send a messenger and then try and sell shoes to them. So we're going to do it. We're going to risk it. So we're down to 13 gold now. Um, we're probably going to go negative again before my grand plan comes together. But we shall see how it pans out. Um, obviously, we are just emerging from winter again. Um, so it's going to be March, so we'll get people back on the boat, so we'll assign two workers. Oh, well, actually, we'll just have three workers each. We'll go full full for the fishing. Um, I don't think we have any fish left. Oh, we still even have some fish left over as well. Um, you can be fired from there, since I don't want to currently sell any uh, exotic goods to my own people, since it generates far more money if I can sell them abroad. Uh, so there's plenty of food in the place. I'm not in any way in a food shortage at the moment. Um, we need to start thinking about having a look at the crops because they're going to be planting already, um, which I haven't really been looking at. These probably want to be a hemp fields, really. These um, all want to be fallow. Let's quickly fallow, fallow, fallow. No, stop ploughing. Take the plough back. Um, let's just pause this while we sort this out. So we've got a lot of potatoes here. So this feels fine. So that can be. Can't change crop during its season. Ah, I should have sorted this out earlier. That's my own fault. Um, can I change? Well, we'll leave these as potatoes then. Um, it might not grow so well. These are cow fields, and these are all set still to wheat. Well, we'll leave it as it is. We'll stop these ones from growing because um, they've got no nutrients left. So if you try and grow sunflowers on this, just nothing's going to happen. It's just going to be a crappy crop. So we might as well cancel that one. So, we'll wait for these things to start to grow. We've still got a large building queue of things to be constructed. Our housing projects are ongoing. Obviously, we finished the bridge last time, so we've got a few people living on this side of the river now as well. Um, I think it's probably going to be worthwhile investing in another market stall, I think. Um, probably by the bridge. On this side of the bridge. Oops. Rotate, rotate. Like so. We'll assign a worker. Um, then we've got flour. Potatoes. Milk. Um, what else do we have? Uh, fish. Fish. There we go. Um, that's all readily attainable food. Just so that these people have easy access to food that they don't have to walk too far. Um, and also there's people on this side of the river who are going to want access to food as well. Um, so let's have a quick check of our livestock situation. Still two in there, five in there, and twelve in there, which is obviously good. Our messenger is miles away. So let's speed this game up a little bit, otherwise we're going to be taking forever. Um, so the people are ploughing the various fields, um, and then they should start to seed the various fields as well. So hopefully we'll get things planted up pretty quickly. Um, Hay-wise, we didn't use that much hay last year. All the all the haystacks are still pretty full, um, and these have got they've, all these haystacks have got uh, hay dryers nearby, so they'll all get topped up over the year. So that's not a problem either. Our forest is slowly getting more and more cut down, uh, creating a little bit more room each time. Obviously, we've got a lovely large housing district down here, um, which is responsible for the housing, unsurprisingly. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to continue to expand this or go in a different direction, maybe. Because obviously, this is the village centre over here, where people work and all the things are built, etc. So I don't know if, if moving everything is really a good idea. We've still got a fair bit of iron. Um, I don't know if we have a good reserve of nails. No, not really. The nails are getting used up uh, sort of about as quickly as they are produced to construct the various houses. And that in turn leads to the problem that 
when I'm not constructing anything, I end up with a lot of idle workers with nothing to do. Um, apart from the labouring, when the labour season comes, which so it all sort of as a consequence means uh, there's not really uh, the people end up running out of money. So it all turns into a bit of a nightmare. Although financially, we actually seem to be doing pretty well so far this year. Let's have a little look. We're only negative eight, which is kind of surprising given a uh, given our salary expenditures. You know, um, local sales just must be up, and well as housing rent, I guess. Um, family is out of food already. Um, okay, nothing I can really do about that. If you've not, you don't work, you don't end up with any money. Um, family out of money, that's going to be that family. Okay, well everyone is running out of food and money, they'll just end up leaving I think if they run out of food and money, so it doesn't really matter too much to us. Um, and our messenger looks like it's about arrived. Messenger still on the way. I don't know if we get a notification when he arrives. Messenger arrives at Dahatchee. So they demand wheat and shoes. So we can sell them. 17 shoes for a sum of 595. If this plays out, um, I may have single handedly solved our shoe crisis. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Our crisis is that uh, we are currently facing. So the cart from the other village is on its way. Um, and we'll just have to see what happens. Apparently, we are still exporting um, sunflower oil to Murpha. Which it does look like we're actually doing. Maybe we're maybe loading that on currently. Yeah, we are. We are exporting some sunflower oil still, so we're even getting money from that. So we are potentially about to become exceedingly rich, which is obviously no bad thing. Um, we've got two carts on the way uh, from these guys. Um, they offer salt, which I don't think we can do anything with salt, can we? Salt, lime, and dried fish. I'm not aware that we currently have any buildings that are capable of working this sort of thing. A tailor shop, weaver shop, shoemaker factory, oil shop produces oil. No, there's nothing that actually can make use of anything like salt or anything at the moment. Um, I guess that's something they're going to introduce in future patches. Obviously, I believe patch 5 is, is well on the way to being, being made for this game. Obviously, I think as I've said in previous episodes, hopefully that's supposed to bring chickens, which is obviously something we all want. Who doesn't want chickens? Um, so we can expect to see that. So the fields are getting sowed. Um, it's coming towards the end of March though and they're still not finished there. They've still got a fair amount of work to do there. Um, the construction queue is slowly getting finished up as well. So that's going to take them a little bit of a while. Uh, let's have a look at the clay bits. Still looking good. So food wise we're absolutely fine. I think fish production is um, very high. Probably too high. I don't know why no one is at work. Everyone's taking a rest there. Everyone's taking a rest. Okay, that's why no one's working there. But um, we've got plenty of fish. That's going to keep on the food, top of the food problem. And hopefully it will mean that we don't really we'll have to worry about um, using up much of our potato stocks. And it does allow us to sell them if we then need to later as well. So we've got something else arriving. Um, I think that's some people moving into our town, moving into one of the newly built houses. We're now at 147. We are so close to the 150 target, which we sort of set ourselves... I don't know even how long ago it was now, three episodes ago? Four episodes ago? So that that took me longer than I expected. Um, so what else have we got we could build? Anything else exciting? Uh, bridge, trading post, warehouse. We could build a warehouse. We don't actually have to do anything with it, but it looks cool, doesn't it? Build a little warehouse there. Not for any particular purpose other than... But meh, why not? Um, all in all, I don't, I don't think warehouses really serve that much purpose. I guess you can use it to store stuff to keep like a, a backlog of, uh, of non of non resources. So if you want to have a backlog of nails and that sort of thing, um, you can do. But I don't really see the point in it. I guess. Um, I, I I guess its purpose is if um, you say produce a thousand nails and you know you're going to want a lot for a mass building project in the future, you could take that thousand nails and put them in the warehouse and this would free the smithy up to continue producing another thousand nails whereas if you left them in a smithy you would stop production when you hit a thousand nails because um, that's one thing you'll notice about all these buildings that have production limits so once this guy has got five sunflower oil in his uh, workshop he will stop producing anymore until it gets moved away currently obviously i've got it all being moved away to the trading post so um you know it doesn't matter Right, well, the first cart is turning up. This is where we're either it's either all going to go wrong or we are going to become wealthy. So let's see. Um, they are loading shoes. 
The first lot of shoes is being loaded. I don't understand what this second cart is coming for, though. That's my, my concern. We've got two shoes on board. Why why is this second cart coming? That's what I don't I don't understand. If that's 70, because this cart is I'm probably gonna drive this cart away. No, they're just gonna sit on top of each other. Okay. It's good. Export shoes as quickly as we can. If we can get all them on board, that'll be grand. I'll be really pleased if we can get to like five hundred gold. Because then that'll mean we are pretty well set then for our future. Um and then things will be looking pretty good. Be nice if just these couple of people could actually get a bit more money together between them though. The uh, the wealth the wealth the um, mayor is obviously now extremely wealthy, so he's pretty well set. Um, most of these fields now seem to be set. They're all sewed here. Obviously, it's mid April now, so we'd expect most of it to be done. Sewn, 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 um, and that's just been ploughed for no real reason. Because they were fallow. This one I forgot to change, and it won't let me. So yeah, so we're looking pretty good. Um, it's not going to be a massive crop this year. Uh, not that much labouring to do anyway, but there's still a few open vacancies that need to be filled, so it's all fine. Uh, we can't really build another town hall. We could build a second set of cart parking. Where? I don't know. Are all these carts actually out? Um, all those carts are being used at the moment, so the carts do get used. Um, maybe we could build like a residential cart parking. That gives something for the um, bloke to do, the carpenter to do. So we'll pin a little a little car cart park. Car park or a cart park? Like here? That seem a decent place? Yeah. Just on the end there. And we'll assign it for carts. So that means a carpenter can do that. Um, from the village centre it gives him another, another long list of jobs to do. Um, keeps him busy. So let's have a look how our, our shoe export's doing. Should we get in there again, twelve? Up to 220 uh, money now, which is obviously great. This is what we really wanted to achieve. Um, so my biggest problem now then really is we want to get the cattle breeding. We've got another cow born here. We've got a cow born there. Um, does it look like we've got any cows born here? Oh, we've got a bull born. Maybe one of them died at old age as well, because we I think we had 12 before. It's the same family is unsurprisingly out of money again. Um, they just seem to spend all the money on firewood by the sound of it. But given they're in April, I would have thought it would have been warm enough. Um, we need to look at what else we are going to be building, I think. Um, we could conceivably build another windmill. We do have 34 wheat. Um, I don't know what our flower situation is. I can't see any, so I'd suggest we don't really have that much flower. So maybe we'll look to build another windmill. Um, nice little gap here. We could do some milling of the wind in this spot. Um, so yeah, so let's get that built. Um, and then the real question is, what are we going to do about the next lot of housing? How am I going to place this all sort of thing? Um, that I do not know. We can look at, uh, with this extra money, which we're getting, which we are still getting. Oh, we've got the rest of these shoes to go. If we can get all these out, this is going to be fantastic. Shoes are obviously the way to go. So that means we need to get as much cattle as possible. So that means we want to be constructing cow sheds. Um, so we've got one here, but we've not only got any cattle, so really we could either send another messenger to Bablika or wait for one to turn up. They do seem to turn up fairly regularly, so it's not something that worries me too much. So um, let's we want to sort this cow shed out, that's what I want to do. So it needs to have a field for the cows to cow in, whatever they do. Um, so let's have a look for a decent spot. So I wonder if we could just put it along, or it will let me do it along here. Too small, too small, too small. Oh, look at that. That is just meant to be. Um, then that means there's enough route for a road through here. And then this cow shed will be able to run some cows. Currently, we don't really have enough to give it its own um, population to build up. I want to try and get these all up to sort of like a minimum of 10. You know, here is doing quite well. They're having a few bulls be born, which is obviously good. Um, and I just want to keep trying to expand and multiply, basically. Um, the the cattle stock just want to get more and more and more cattle um, there's now a lot of people looking for jobs I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with all these people what jobs could I give them we can build more cow sheds we don't actually have to man them at the moment but it's not really very much of a long term solution just collecting cow sheds and with there not really being anyone to assign um, potato, potatoes assign 
cows too. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, let's build another cow shed. That's what I was trying to do. Cow shed. Um, is this going to become Cow Island, or is it a bit of an irrational place? It is a bit of a silly place to build them all. Where could we build the next cow shed? <laughs> we need to expand over to some other parts of the river, I think. Something we can do. Build another bridge. Okay, we'll have another cow shed. Well, we could just place them all in a line. Go on, we'll have another cow shed there then. Cow shed alley. So, we also, I'm thinking other things we need to do. Um, if we're going to have cow sheds everywhere, we need to have a well. Which obviously needs to make it somewhere um, like there. I think that's not going to be a particularly effective well, considering it's right next to the river. That's just going to suck in all that dirty river water. That's the worst spot from all for a well possible. Um, so, let's have a look. We're also going to need more hay barracks to give them a good supply of hay uh, throughout the winter. Where does that come under hay barrack? Uh, where are we going to place these? We'll have these dotted around here. Um, I've lost them again already. Trade. Um, we've got... How many have we got? Two cow sheds. So we'll place four hay barracks. Um, like so. And then we also are going to need some hay dryers. One. Two. And then a third one. So that, that whole uh, top of all this hay, although a lot of it's being collected because there's some spare hay already lying around. Uh, it still means we've got people really looking for vacancies. I'm not sure what to do with all these people. We could build uh, more farms, I suppose. How many? We can assign another worker there. It's really. Oh, we've finished off selling all our shoes by the looks of it, which is obviously grand. We've now got 648. So we can afford to have sort of spare people hired. I, I guess we can just hire someone in the slaughterhouse. I mean, they're all spare people not really doing anything. Uh, so we'll have someone in the tannery. Have we got women looking for jobs as well? Yes, lots. So by having, even if they're not actually doing anything, it's just costing me um, wages. I, I don't suppose it really matters because... Um, you know, it is what it is. We're going to have to spend the spend the cost. The people are going to run out of money anyway, so we need to kind of try and get a balanced economy, even if it costs um, the sort of finances of the, of the country or city. Um, it's better to have the people actually have some sort of money. Um, and actually, the salary uh, is not that much offset by local sales now. The food sales are almost creeping up to meet uh, the salary costs anyway, so it's not really a problem for me. So we've got plenty of people working there. Some people at the tannery, one at the shoemaker... Plenty of people at the weaver's shop, although I don't know what the hemp situation is looking like. Um, 19 hemp. A bit of hemp, but not loads. Um, the forestry is kind of about flat out, to be honest. They've only got 143 firewood stored, and they're waiting logs. Maybe that's something we could build. Um, it sounds a bit silly, probably, initially, because that forestry has just been there for absolutely years. But we could build uh, another forestry, um, which would probably be... A kind of wise move. Let's build another one here, I think. Or do we have any other forests we specifically want to target? No. No, we'll try and eliminate this forest first. So we'll build another forest. We'll get that built as well. Um, we're also going to have to look at getting some more iron, I think. Um, we have 4.52. There must be some stored in a warehouse somewhere. Um, but it doesn't really... I don't know where it is. But we need to look at that once we get a messenger from uh, Dehachi, or where is it? Is it Dehachi? No, Bablika is where we want the next messenger from. Uh, we can also sell them some potatoes. We've got 15 potatoes and oils and all that sort of thing. We might as well have another person working at the um, thing there to give them a job. Um, and then the rest of the people are still in the construction trade, getting everything built. We'll also look at probably building another farm. We might as well fill in this remaining space down here, I guess. Um, so we might as well get that built and put in the production queue while we're here. Um, where's he going to fit in? He can fit in over here, say. Like so. Um, I was also going to look have a look at this, how this ox is doing. Every time it seems to have like a little bit less health, I guess at some point this ox is just going to die, maybe? Um, so that might be something else we're going to have to deal with, replacing all that. Um, how are our cows doing? So we've got a couple of new-ish born cows this year. Just one on that one. Obviously none on that one, that's a new shed. And obviously one on that one. No, two possibly on that one. So our sort of cattle stock is growing, so things aren't looking too bad. 
Um, some of the old stuff, I guess, could be slaughtered, maybe. I don't know how long these things, these cattle are supposed to live. That's something, if anyone knows, how long do the cows live and bulls? You know, once they're four, if they're going to die next year, I'd rather kill them and turn them into shoes. Because at least shoes are useful than a dead cow. But if then that's not the case, if they're going to be alive for, you know, another 20 years or something, then I won't bother because I'd rather have them um, continue to grow so I get a, a lot more baby cows, calves, um, before I kill them all. So, yeah, if anyone knows that, let me know in the comments below. Um, how else are we getting on? Everything else is being constructed. So, things are looking good. Obviously, um, things have gone pretty well that episode. Um, since we've now got 630 gold, we are just swimming in money. Um, I guess we need to look at eventually starting to produce more shoes again. Because that's going to be the ultimate problem we have to deal with. But for now, things are looking pretty good. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode, guys. We'll stop it here. If you like the episode, please give the video a like. It really does help the video out. It helps other people be able to find it. Because once it gets liked, I think it gets... Uh, ranked higher in sort of YouTube's algorithm because it uh, all that good stuff. So if you do that and give the channel a like, I'm so nearly at 100 subscribers now. Maybe every time you watch this, we'll be there, but I think I'm at 99 at the moment. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Get me to 100 before the new year. Um, <laughs> other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you on the next video.